Hi everybody. It's time to find out about this week's art challenge. Last week, you blew us away with some really amazing creative collages and um, it was so fun to see so many of them. So we are going to challenge you once more to think about art and this time um, we'd like you to think about sculpture. Do you know what sculpture means? I'm gonna read the definition that I found. It says, sculpture is the art of making two or three dimensional, two or three dimensional, I know you know what that means, not flat, that has some depth to it, right? Either representative or abstract forms. So a representative form would be something that looks like the sculpture, it looks like you can tell what it represents. And abstract mm, might just bring you a feeling and it might not be something the artist wants you to understand as a representation, but just to enjoy the form of as a piece of artwork. Most sculpture that we see is carved out of stone or wood. And a lot of times when we see our sculptures that are in public places, oftentimes those are casted out of metals like bronze. So to start thinking about sculpture, I, I grabbed a couple that I have here at my house. I'm gonna show this one to you. It's a little stone carving of two children hugging, and it sits on my bathroom sink and it makes me really happy. This is an example of representative sculpture. It looks like, it's meant to look like two little children. Here's another one that I have in my house. This is so cute. It's a pile of bunnies. Can you see? And the coolest thing about this sculpture is it's also a box. The top comes off and I can put little things inside. So these are, this is another representative sculpture that's carved out of something. I think that's m maybe a resin. Um, so your job is this. With what you have at home, make a sculpture. Your sculpture could be representative. It could look like something that it represents or it could be abstract and just be meant to bring about a feeling or just give you an opportunity to express yourself creatively. So I wanna give you some ideas about what you might have around the house that you could use to make a sculpture. And you're gonna to wanna to check with your family before starting just to make sure that it's okay that you use that material that you found. So here are some ideas. You could, with permission, you could use tin foil that you might have in your drawer to form a sculpture. You could use the recycling bag. You can use, go through your clean recycling and see if there's anything in there that you can use to stack or attach together to create a sculpture. You could use found objects around your house. I don't know what's at your house, but you do. Um, you could use veggies and fruit. Sometimes I've seen veggies and fruit kind of put together with toothpicks before. You could use blocks or rocks outside, stacking big rocks and then a medium and then a smaller rock. You could use Play-Doh or clay. You might have those materials at your house. Um, really, it's up to you to decide what kind of sculpture you wanna make. Um, you will notice that uh, I will push out another assignment for you in your Google Classroom to make a flip grid of your sculpture. Tell us a little bit about your thinking and why you decided to use the materials that you decided to use and, and what your sculpture means to you. All right, friends, go to it.